Today I'm going to show you how to incorporate wireless LEDs into your 3D prints. I'm Brian DeLuca from Maker Build It, and today we're adding wireless LEDs into our 3D models. This is the second part in our series on adding LEDs to your 3D prints, so now is the perfect time to follow. Wireless LEDs are innovative leaf and lighting technology. Utilizing microelectric induction or resonant coupling to illuminate LEDs without the need for physical wiring. This technology has applications in modern design and wearable technology, but hey, I'm not that cool. I'm going to use it to light up D&D miniatures. But let's talk a little bit nerd here. How do wireless LEDs work? At the heart of LEDs is the concept of inductive wiring or resonant energy transfer. The transmission coil or the primary coil generate an alternating magnetic field when powered by an AC or pulse DC supply. The receiver coil, a secondary coil within the proximity of the magnetic field, captures the energy and converts it back into electrical energy. The electrical energy is then used to power the LED, illuminating it wirelessly. The efficiency of the transfer depends on the alignment, the distance, and the resonant frequency between the transmitter and the receiver coil. Now enough of the nerdy stuff, let's build the circuit. So we have our coil right here. We have our connector for a nine volt battery. We have a couple of quick connects. We have our switch and we have our wireless LED. So we're just gonna hook up our quick connect to the coil. Then we're gonna take the red on our battery and we're gonna put that in there too. And then we're going to attach the black here in the coil. And now we're just gonna put our battery in. And we're currently oh, switched it to off. So if we're there, now there we go. Our LEDs on. And you see, if we move the LED outside of the coil, you see, actually, that's a good point. It gets, the further away, it gets a little duller. So when it's close, really bright. When it's further away, it gets a little duller. And when it's out of range, you see it completely goes out. So what's gonna happen is when we move our piece within this coil, now this coil could be stretched out, right? I could stretch it around this whole mat and, and that would be, where it would be interactive. I'm just leaving it in its coil to have it condensed for this video. But as you see here, it's being powered wirelessly. Outside, inside the coil, powered up. Now let's measure this LED and get it added to our model. I'm gonna show you how to do that directly in Bamboo Lab Studio, but you can do it in Nomad Sculpt. So I got it in my caliper, it is completely dead. It will not start. I tried swapping out the batteries. I reached out to Clockwise and let's see what they say. I know there's a two year warranty on this thing. So I had to run out to Harbor Freight and I bought one of the cheapest calipers they have there and let's just get it and let's measure this LED. Okay, you can tell I'm a 3D printing nerd. I actually got a desk impact, so I'm gonna save this to keep my filament dry. Went right on. I don't know how accurate this one's gonna be, but we will see. See if I get the top without putting too much pressure on the circuit board. Under, it was a little, so it was a little over five millimeters. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the hole in my 3D model that this LED is gonna sit in around six millimeters because usually when you 3D print, it, it there's a, you always need a little bit of extra space in order to make sure things fit correctly. So I'm gonna make it around six millimeters and it should slide in pretty easily. I get this feeling I'm gonna do a video on calipers. Okay, so let's get this into Bamboo Labs. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a negative part and that's gonna make the hole in the actual item. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale this negative part. We added a cylinder because that's where the shape of our LED. We're gonna scale it to the size of the LED we measured. So six by six by about eight deep because we want it to sit in um, a little bit. So what we're gonna do is once that cylinder, oh, it looks like it didn't scale it to the right uh, Z axis. So we're just gonna fix that. 
and then we're going to move it in the model where we want. The first one we're going to put is on the base, and that's going to give a little bit of underlighting to our model itself, which will look pretty cool. Once we get it into position of where we want it, we're just going to add a second one. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to right click on the model, and we're going to add a second negative part. Now we add a cylinder again, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it and rotate it because we're gonna stick it in the main eye of the beholder. So same thing, we're gonna scale it to six by six by eight. And for some reason it didn't take the eight again. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but let's just re-put it in there. And once we have that set correctly, we're gonna rotate our item and we're gonna move it in the correct place for where we want the LED to go in the main eye of this beholder. And once that's all done, we're gonna enable supports and we're gonna slice this print and send it to our printer. Once we get it printed, we're gonna just clean it up real quick and then we're gonna add our LEDs. So I'm gonna slide this into the eye of the beholder and there we go, and our circuit is currently off. So as you see, it's not lit up, it's not touching, but when I turn it on, the LED lights up wirelessly. And you can see the higher I move it, the dimmer it gets, or the further I move it outside of the uh, coil or this wire. Like I said, you wrap this wire around this whole table if you wanted, and you would have illumination everywhere. But the further it gets away, the duller the LED is gonna get. So this could be used for interactivity within your D&D campaigns. Wireless LEDs represent a blend of science and practical application. I'll link the ones I used here in the description below. They can be used from everything to illuminate decorative designs like 3D printed lamps, in wearable 3D prints such as costume jewelry or cosplay items. They can also be used in interactive designs such as what we did here with these D&D miniatures Think about how these wireless LEDs could be used in a custom board game or puzzle to create some player interaction. Wireless LEDs can enhance your 3D prints with a clean wiring solution and without the need to have to do all the wiring that comes along with wired LEDs. How will you use them? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to follow Maker Build It so you won't miss the next two videos in the series. The next one's gonna be how to use an Arduino in order to control your LEDs. And we're also gonna do a special video on how to create your 3D models in order to incorporate the LEDs and get the most of them. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today. For more videos on 3D printing, make sure to like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.